Anyone for a poorly boxed all Adam? Possibly needs a chain. I know that's even still running. I think that's about to blow up. Yeah, he's going. There goes the tap. I think that has cooked his goose. This video is sponsored by Top Dom and their amazing Jump Surge Jump Packs. Now, we are never without these Jump Packs from Top Dom. We use them every single day. Whether it's the 1500 series or the 2000 series like this, they pack a mean punch. Super lightweight Jump Pack that's capable of starting up to a 4 litre diesel engine and numerous times over. In fact, one of these small Jump Packs can start a diesel engine over 35 times on a single charge. They are really straightforward to use. Simply plug the jump leads into the pack, press the boost button, and you'll have any vehicle up to four liters up and running in a matter of seconds. But it's not just a jump pack, it's also a power bank. In fact, you can power mobile phones from this using the USB ports, and even power DC Auto Electric, such as a tire inflator, and it's even got a built-in torch for convenience. Now, top down, I've just updated these machines with a new styling and also a new set of clamp leads. And to celebrate that, they're now back on offer. You can pick up your Jump Surge Jump Pack from Top Don for as little as £47.99. Make sure you use our links in the description. It will take you through to Top Don's site on eBay where you can purchase these Jump Packs by using the promo code HOTDEAL20. Both links are in the description for the 1500 amp version or the 2000 amp version. Like I said, starting from as little as £47.99. Massive saving on the current RRPs, but it is only a short period of time they are on offer for. You can only get these jump packs up until the 27th of May. So make sure you get in there early because the last time we did a promotion like this, they all sold out in a matter of days. So make sure you get in there quick. Click on our links to make sure you're getting them from the genuine supplier in the UK with your warranties. Use those links, guys. Get yourself over. Use Hot Deal 20 and get yourself one ordered today. Hi there, guys. Welcome back to the channel. You join me today back at the auctions. We are at G3 Motor Auction today back in Yorkshire. It's a beautiful day and we're out trying to buy some stock. Now, we've been to G3 auctions uh, recently and it's our second visit here today. But the last time we came, I came to the Tuesday sale, which was a decent sale nonetheless. And I learned a lot from it, got registered, met some interesting people and got myself sort of set up, if you like. Did also try and buy a few cars, but wasn't successful on that day. Now, that sale really wasn't designed for me. That was more sort of the upper end of my sort of budget. I did have a go at one or two bits, but didn't quite get anything over the line. However, today, is a different sale. This is the Thursday sale, the general sale, or the economy sale as they call it. This is exactly primed for the sort of stock that I am going to buy. Now those of you who are new to the channel, I buy retail cars under five grand, so I'm looking at cars really from a few hundred pounds to a few thousand pounds in order to get that under that retail price. It's a market that I've worked in for years and I know really well. And today we've got literally 400 cars across two lanes in the sale. So it's going to be a busy old day. Now, we need to get ourselves in there and have a look around, but I'm in no major urgency. Why? Well, I made a bit of a balls up, to be honest with you guys. Uh, basically, what has happened is, is that I've misjudged the time. The last time I came here and all the other sales they have, which there's about three or four sales a week, they're all at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I got myself up bright and early, half past six this morning, up the M6 and M62, stuck in traffic to get here with half an hour to spare. Well, I didn't need to worry because it doesn't start till 12. So I've uh, basically got a few hours to waste. I've uh, got up for no reason, gone through all that traffic for no reason as well. And also, the battery was died on my car this morning, which has really peed me off. Never mind me moaning, let's get ourselves in there, cheer myself up and try and buy some stock. So we'll have a look round now, and then later on, we'll try and buy some cars. Ah, now here's what I'm after today. This is one I've marked down sort of on my maybe list. Renault Clio. Now, I quite like this shape, Clio. This is a 2013 plate, it's a 1-2 petrol. I know that because I've done my research before. We haven't got a catalogue, so we've got anything to go off at the moment, so we're sort of a bit of guesswork. But I did do me uh, some notes last night. I know it's done average miles, but uh, it's uh, got a few marks on it. It's got a scratch here, which ooh, could come out that. It's not as deep as you think. Will it fade? You might get away that. You might That might mop out. That could be... The whole car wants to mop, really, but I think that scratch could mop out, which would be great if that's the case, because they don't have to paint at all. Does want this bumper corner painting? In fact, the whole back bumper wants painting. It's faded here. It's probably been painted before. We've got scuffs here. It might mop up. It might mop up, but work on the basis that it probably wants painting. I'd be amazed if that comes back. You could probably try and flatten it and mop it and see if it comes back. But it is paved there, crazy paved there, going. So you're probably better off just painting it. 
tailgate wants mopping, the whole car wants mopping, let's be fair. So it's a little bit edgy, it's fading there as well. You could end up painting that. There's a bit of paint. So, but it would make a car. This side isn't too bad actually. A few little light scratches. Interior is filthy dirty, absolutely filthy. But it's a 1.2 Clio. It's not booking at a great deal of money. In this condition, it's only booking at sort of like 1500 quid territory, which that's the sort of money I'd be looking to pay for that. That cleaned up, paint wise, mopped up, looking well, sort the wheels out. Could easily be a 3800 pound car. So we're going to put that one down the list. Wants a lot of work, but I do like these shaped Cleos. They are good news, they're good sellers. So we'll uh, see how we go with that one. One I marked down for myself again today, a little uh, ZTEC S Fiesta. Now, I've sold one or two of these. The last one I had on the pitch did really well in silver. Maybe sold in like 20 minutes. It was just a remark. I put it out for sale. 20 minutes later, a guy walks on with his son, bought, bought it. So, I do like these, obviously. These are the 1.6 petrol, not the 1.25, this is the ZTEC S. They're normally aspirated. They're, they're, not, you know, they're not super quick. They're not really hot hatchy. They're warm at best, you'd say. Um, but this one's been slightly modified, which is a bit of a concern. It's in blue, it's a nice colour. The front bumper plumped attention, I'm particularly waiting for repainting the blacks. The rest of the car isn't too bad, although I have noticed a little bit of chippiness going on here on this arch. It's starting to go. A few scuffs in that bumper, so you might want to. You've got a nice line to work with there, so you possibly could get that painted in without too much drama. Um, other than that, really, it's not too bad. One wants a bit of a touch in there, maybe a smart repair. Only other concern is we've been modified slightly. You've got this twin exhaust system that someone's put on. How noisy is that going to be? Does it need removing? Do you want to put it back standard? You've got to be careful there because I don't want some big daft noisy boy racer thing on the pitch. If it's subtle, then you know you can get some systems that are all right. Fair enough. If it's just deafening, it needs to go. I'm just grateful the fact they haven't cut the back uh, bumper part to make that fit. So you've got to bear that in mind that you might be putting a resource system back on it. You've also got to be careful as well in case you haven't done something silly like decatting it, which makes it very difficult for a dealer then to have to reinstate it all. Obviously because we've got to comply with uh, MOT legislations, which the, the youth don't seem to like to oblige to. A little bit gone there as well. Mm, yeah, I might get away with touching that in maybe, but definitely needs a little bit of paint. It's not booking out a lot of money though, and it's a bright thing, and I know they sell well. So we'll see how we go with that. We'll mark that one down. Right, I've just noticed this. Do you know what it is? Can I have a guess? No, you give up. That is a, I think it's called Perodula Maiva, or Maiva. I did see this online on the catalogue last night. I've, I've seen one or two of these before. Perodulas weren't very successful in the UK. Uh, this is basically a Daihatsu Sirion uh, on the cheap. I'm not sure what engine's in them. I imagine it's probably Daihatsu based, so maybe 1.3, maybe. Could be one litre. I'll put the uh, spec there, what it is. Uh, they weren't very top popular, I mean, even the actual Sirons didn't uh, take the world alight in the UK, mainly because they were quite expensive to import. Um, yeah, this is, these are not, they're not the best of these. I have seen a couple of these before. This one is not looking its best. It's got a little bit of uh, damage on the rear splitter at the bottom or the side skirt. Although it is quite tricked up with uh, skirts on it and wheels and trim and chrome, which doesn't suit it. I also noticed this as well, look at this. Look at that exhaust system. Twin exhaust, like an M3. Yeah. Um, what's it worth this? Probably not a lot, to be honest with you. Five to eight hundred quid. Is it the sort of thing that I buy? I wouldn't say no to it if it was cheap money, but I'm not going to pay five to eight hundred quid for it. It's not prime stock for me. It's not the sort of thing that I should really be buying because I think they just struggle to sell it. I'm not saying there's not money in it, but I think there's better things to be uh, looking at today than a old Perodula. We don't see many of them. If we get a chance and we see it go through, obviously we'll see what it does. Uh, but yeah, don't see many of those in an auction. Blimey, I thought the wife's Range Rover was here. This is like identical. Well, almost, because the wife's got loads of marks on it where she keeps sitting things. But it's the same colour and same shape, same year even. 2010, I think the wife's is. I think it's the same. It's got a private plate on it, but uh, it's coming off. But um, the wife's got cloth interior in hers, which is a bit odd. Most of them had leather, but hers has got like some sort of very posh cloth thing. Which is all faded, um, but this is only done 66 fouls, so this is like the wife's done about double that, 120. But uh, this is a different kettle of fish, this means probably a four or five grand car because of that mileage uh, in, the, in the block. 
The mileage is key on Range Rovers. Low mileage Range Rovers are still sought after things, particularly older ones. Obviously, new ones have got a lot of problems with more later ones with insurance issues. Not really an issue on these, to be honest. This is uh, not not the sort of stuff that's been stolen by the uh, by the, uh, the the gangs out there trying to uh, strip them and send them abroad and stuff like that. This is not what they're after. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously, a very expensive thing to run. But it is a nice car. Wheels won't be furby. If we get a chance, we'll see what that does. I'll be interested to see. Um, I've got to get rid of the wife soon. It just reminds me. So we'll have to do some video ons on that soon and see if we can get rid of that. But I uh, wish uh, her car was in this condition. Ooh, here's a car that's contentious. The uh, Hyundai, is it Velosta, is it called? I've pronounced it wrong, apologies. These are a weird car, basically because we've only got one door on the back. So, notice here on this side, there's your door, usual handle. You get in there. On the opposite side, there's no door. So it's like four door ish, you clear the boot. Not five. But reality, it's got three doors you can actually physically get in. So there's a handle missing there. I don't know, it's weird. I mean, obviously, it's on the right side because curbside. But why did they not decide to put a door on it? I don't understand why. What was the objective behind that? Um, it's a bit strange. Uh, that quarter's horrendous. It's been painted previously. You can see actually here. You see where it's been blended in? It's just been a poor job of it. It's all faded. But uh, got a bit of rock down there as well. It's not something I'd buy. I wouldn't even attempt to even uh, go one of those, to be honest, for retailing it. Just not, just, just too much hassle. You know, they're just the sort of car that people look round and go, oh, why's it got a door missing? You, you've got to want to want one of these. And they were never really popular enough to people to warrant going out and buying them um, in sort of, you know, mass really. So no, let's not, we'll not put our efforts into that one today. We'll see what it does. I don't think it'll do a lot of money, to be honest, because it needs a lot of paint um, repairs and stuff. And they're not great sellers, but we'll see. Look at this old gem, old Micra. I've been going to the auctions for years and these obviously are fading away, but every so often one of these rocks up in the auction and they always sell, always sell. There was someone for them. These were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Rock boxes, but they were brilliant. Sills particularly used to go on the back, but they were just simplistic cars. How many people have probably owned one of those and knew someone who had one? They were just a fantastic little reliable car. What one leases or one free did as well. Um, yeah, they were just good news. It was what one power steering. They did have a lot of them, even late ones, of no power steering, which was a pain. Um, I'm not sure that one's got power steering or not, but uh, I would imagine it probably has. What? You know, a couple hundred quid. Good uh, little, uh, little delivery cars, aren't they? It's usually where you see them. Um, some lab there, Uber Eats and stuff. Little run around. Not going to let you down, is it? It's got a guide of actually a couple hundred quid on it. I suspect someone would buy that. Not so long ago, I probably would have had a go at that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what it does. If we get a chance, see it go through. There's a lot of cars in today, so we've got to bear that in mind. We might miss one or two, but I'll try my best to see what that does. Now this, interesting colour. Jag XF. One's a bit of paint though. Isn't that bump, terrible. But, uh, coming down in value, these. I've seen a few of these cheap recently. I had to bought one. I'm going to do a video one. Mine's probably not as nice looking as this one. Well, potentially nice looking, the colour. Nice inside this one. Um, 110 fan. Is a nice thing. 3 litre diesel, one you want. It's not booking really a great deal of money, what it is. Stuff on the bumper there. It doesn't want a bit of paint. Bumpers really want painting. They want a good mop over. Wheels. Mm, might get away with them. Wheels will clean up, but they're not great. Nice thing. Mm. So the stars offer real good value of these. But you'd have to bear in mind that 3 litre diesel engine, the Range Rover engine. Does like to throw a crank. Lovely to drive. Just not top, not top ten reliable car. That to be honest, but uh, we'll see what it does. I've just noticed Pigeon up there making himself an absolute cracking nest. Well, oh, there's a little things a little in there as well. Oh yes, doing a cracking job then, pair, mother and father. Another one spotted. Not medium size. Again, going back to trade here, getting small cars again. But they, uh, it's good to have you. Good sellers these. Really good sellers. I preferred if it wasn't red, to be honest. Although I have, um, it's not a template by the way, I have to just give it a little bit of a rub there to make sure it comes back. You've got to be careful red cars because sometimes, particularly Renaults you find this on, but uh, sometimes you get a car that fades so badly that you can't get it back. It won't come back with T-cut. It's, it's too past It's too past it and um, you just can't get the shine back. But that will come up. It will certainly improve. So 
that's good news. Red cars also got to be careful of lack appeal. They seem to be really common for lack appeal, so always check roofs and sort of pillars and stuff. This one doesn't seem too bad. It's just really badly marked and just wants a buff up. With a buff up, it'll look lovely. We've got a little bit of corrosion there though, I've just noticed, which is a shame. They do rot these under the lights. Very common. I've had a few of these repaired. So you might have to address that, but we'll have to address that if we want that to think because that would uh, annoy me. Unless it's priced accordingly, but it has done 79,000 miles, so I suspect I'll be having that painted. If it mopped up and painted, it should match up pretty well. If you've got a good paint man, um, which I have. So it's a nice thing inside. You've got to be careful steering wheels. This one's not too bad. They can fade quite badly on these. But there's a good news these one two petrols, most of them are. I assume this is a one two petrol. If I'm wrong, I'll put it here. They did do diesels, but most of them are one two petrols. Three cylinder. They aren't. The, the, what can I say about the one two? The only thing really worry about on these is chains. They do suffer with stretch chains, and the chains can have kind of catastrophic failure where they just literally just move and turn and smash rockers and valves and stuff. I've had a few of those on polos go 10 onwards. Early ones used to suffer with burnout. Valves are quite common, used to run like a bag of spanners. Um, later ones, more chain issues. If there's any sort of inkling of chain noises on them, I just do them. Polos in particular, well, by a lot of um, from time to time. But yeah, if you've got any rattles on start or pull, something doesn't sound quite right or it's a bit pinky you want to be changing the chain on them because they are bad news for that however that aside that's been addressed they are really good little units and can do big miles i've seen these i've bought these fabulous with 170,000 miles of the record i've bought uh, with one on still running like brand new and uh, was in fact it's still being used today by a local um, uh, takeaway they were using it so they, they can do the miles and they are popular spacious five door cars good sellers cheap to insure first drivers like them just a it's a bit disappointing it's red any other colour but red well maybe not green either actually as well but yeah black would have been nice silver would have been nice anyway watch that does it's not got a great big guide on it um, what's it worth 79 foul buffed up looking nice I think that is probably a 26 2700 pound car all day long all day long I think that is so we'll keep an eye on that one right sun's out now it's looking lovely we have got absolutely loads and loads of cars in here today loads i mean there's what maybe over 400 cars in i think when we last check counted two uh, lanes running now running two lanes is really difficult <laughs> you know i'm speaking to this from someone who used to run an auction with 70 cars and used to pull his air out so trying to run two lanes is a, a big operation and uh, trying to film from my perspective the two lanes is going to be difficult but i'll try my best we will ultimately end up probably missing out on a few vehicles a bit windy. what we've already seen today but i will try my best to capture stuff we've already looked at now what will probably end up happening is if we end up buying something that actually we never even looked at that's usually what happens at auctions but anyway like i said i'll try my best for the filming i suspect it's going to be really busy today as well this is my first ever thursday sale uh, last sale on a tuesday was quite quiet a lot of online bidders i've been told it's not like that on a thursday so we'll see what it's like and hopefully i'll do and hopefully I'll do you proud with some filming give you some good content now we've got a few hours to go for the sale because like i said i've made a big balls up and coming here really early um so we're going to come back later on and we'll get ourselves in position and uh yeah we'll uh, do some filming but for now i'm going to go and have a mooch around uh, the town and uh maybe it maybe you can go to kfc i've seen one of them up the road so i might go have me dinner but anyway, I'll catch you all later in the uh, auction rooms. Civic coming in, automatic, we should do Brewsters. I'm booking at 1500 quid, but I can't see that happening. Being auto at the moment, even a 18 petrol. Paint works a bit iffy in places, and it's got a few self tappers in the uh, trim, but I don't think it will help, help it. Uh, 
don't think it'll stop it. I think it'll still do good money. Right, quick catch up. Um, wow, it's busy in there. That is really busy. Do you know, since COVID, the auctions have been a little bit lax, really, because a lot of people went online, because obviously they all went online, the auctions, and then people never really come up, sort of eased off them. But I have to say, in here, I mean, last time I came here, it was quiet, but it was a different type of sale. They said it was busy. They weren't wrong. It's chaos in there. Trying to run two lanes is really difficult. I haven't done that in many, many years, trying to keep up. But anyway, never mind that. We've we've won a car. We've won a cash guy in red, um, which I'm not uh, any other colour but red, really. But it's not terrible. Bonnie wants a mop up, definitely. Bumper probably wants repainting, re repainting, and a little bit of a smart repair. Is it cheap? Mm, it's. I wouldn't say it's a bargain, but it's on the lower end of what I'd paid time of adding in the fees and the delivery and stuff like that it's about what I would have paid probably where I've gone elsewhere however um, I do struggle to buy those usually and um, so they are good sellers retails about three and a half grand on it it's a bit mileage it's done about 115 but I've had a few like that and they always sell they are popular cash guys are an unnecessary evil should we say when you get them right they're lovely and they always sell but yeah, they're not you know they, they, you have to put a lot of work into them a lot of things go wrong but anyway, I'm happy with that. We also saw that on the Civic as well. Um, that is stupid money, as we, as we suspected it would do. But it's an auto, that's what they do. Did have also have a bid on that little IX20 diesel. Prefer petrol to diesel, really, but I will buy the 1.4s. Um, but I thought it was enough. It was a nice thing, but it was a bit mileage again, 110. So I didn't want to pay Brewsters for it. Uh, and I did have a good few bids at it, but it wasn't for me. I suspect we're going to get one, two more today. We'll carry on, see if we can pull some bits out. But at least I've got a medium-sized car in, so that's good news. Let's carry on. Now, Hello, Rolf. Rolf Harris coming in. They're good little cars, these. For the Aris. Fair one is all once, sold twice, 27, 15, 
Jason 51, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Jason 51, Clarence, Adler, Mason Fortney. How did you go? Mini. Struggled. Show me on the register, category N. Oh, oh cat and N mini. With the wrong colour bumper on it. It's auto though. Barry, number one, put the pen on. 250, 250 now, now 250 Fabio coming in, we were after, so we see what this does. Freelander coming in, got a little Volvo V50, little Prius, and of course the uh, Bad Boy Micro. See what these do. They make. 137 foul bit. On my left hand, 3 to a 15. On my right hand, 33. Here's the back, 3 to the 3 man, 15. On sale, X, that's not you. 3 to 34, 15. Still not you, fine. 35 to a 15. 35 to a 15. On my right one, twice. I think that's a lot for one of those, to be honest. Oh, Volvo. Well, six days. Mile G. The worst horse for someone. Steam places, flat tyre. I don't think it'll make any difference. Oh, 
33 on the left, 33 on the top, Chief Carl out, 34 on the line, 10 million, 36 on the line, on the line, 3,600 pound feet, 15 can now, don't mind that, 7 back on the line, 15, on the single, Peter Bell's not you, Friesen, 50 to be on the line, standing, at 3,750, player 1, on the line, 1, 1, at 3, 7, 15, is that 8? On the line, yes, sir. Try to find her. E, 14, 2,000 miles only. Again, we've got a couple of on the line. 400 pounds on the line. 400 pounds on the line, 4 bit. On the line, 400 pounds on the line, 4. Next way back. 450, 5 on the line. 50 on the line. 550 on the line. 6 bit in the hall. 600 pounds on the line, 6 bit. Sold all the way. G, you're out. 600 pounds on the line. Seven men, on my left, all ten team, do it quick, seven months, twice, fifteen, eight men, eight to the man on my left, two in your out, eight ones, fifty in your back, eight fifty to the bid, five will sell it, eight seventy five, on my left, nine bid, nine to the man from there with none, rich in, twenty five, nine twenty five on the left side of nineteen five, find out for the micro, one twice, all right, nine seven four, the S is three door on the register category S. What's that word? It's a shame. Two in the memory, two fifteen, three bit, three fifteen, four big on sale, four fifteen, on the rail, five bit, two big five fifty-six, fifteen, seven, five fifty-six, 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 750, the railman sold, 850, 850 is there, on the left, 850 all done. 9 men, 9 men have gone, 9 is there, thank you. 9 months, 2 months, and 9, and right, you're all done first today. 9 is there, thank you. Try the forest there. 2 meters, okay, means a little bit of work. Cheap car. Want a better work, but cheap car. The captain, please take the with his short leg. The captain, I mean, the media now looks a long car, doesn't it? Appreciate the bit online, I think we have some competition out there. 1500 pounds away, we have 16 bit online, 17 bit in the hall. Not new James, 17 in the hall, 18 bit back online. 19 on one, couple of grand on the phone. 2-1, back with the lead. 2,001 pound, 2-2, two, two, down front, 22 on goal. Still a model looking car, 2-3 on line. Speed down to 15, 2-3, 50 on goal. Still a grand back up, 2-4 net. 2,000 for 15, back with the lead. 2-4, 50 on goal, 2-5 net. On line, 2,500 pound for 15, back with the lead. That's not you, James. 2-5, 50 on goal. 2-6 net, 50 net. 2-6, 50 net, all the same. Whipped in, speed around. 2-6, 50 and so on. Twice, D-minus, that right. Speed, Boston. Speed, Boston. Speed, Boston. Speed, Boston. Speed, Boston. The last man, Sport, two owners. They normally find the home, don't they? Best of both words, you get two points on the side, four door dinner, five hundred pound all in. To Sport, so you get the pad roof, upgrade the seats, five hundred pound every time on five bin. You won't find a cheaper boss than that. Six bin, seven bin net, eight bin online, nine bin, grand bin, in the hall. One pound of pound is in all the grand bin level online. Dean, no bin net, eleven bin net, twelve bin in the hall. Back it's a cheap car, but it's a lot of work. 50 again, 1350 I've got on sale, 1350 original, 1351, sold by 
27 up as well. Probably would sound but... No. Alright, nice big dragon next to the uh, nice grey one. Anyone 
on for a poorly box all Adam. Possibly needs a chain. I know that's him still running. 103,000 miles, it's due a chain. But I think it may have gone past that mark. I think that's about blow up. Yeah, he's good. There goes the tap. 54, pounds is online. 55, yeah, 59 on B. That ain't gonna reach that. I think that has cooked his goose. Captain Lee coming out to this one. If he gets here, the lot. If that starts, I'll be amazed. You can push it into the field if you want, I don't care. Do what you want with it. Oh, thanks, lads. So you're better in a way, aren't you? Push you were going on. Thanks, lads. Hey, answer, please, for the auction hall. We need a push for this guy, I'd like to please, who was stood around doing nothing. All of you. Uh, the Vauxhall Adam. There he is, look. Super handy. Ash, don't you watch your way either. Uh, and you've all heard it, we don't want to start it again because it's about to pop. If it hasn't popped already, it's about to. Uh, it's capping at 2250 if you've got 800 quid for it as it is, I'll ask the question. If you haven't got 800 quid for it, I'll pop it in on a sale either or online. Just put a note on there, though, he's saying he sounds like me. Terrible. I've got 800 pounds online, and 800 pounds you need. Anybody else want to go on the old beast? No, you won't. One strike's 800 quid then. Uh, away you go, take our rake off while you're wrecking back. Oh look, now it'll move now, she's stronger than you, aren't it? Well stronger than you, aren't it? Right, so another auction video concluded. Let's have a bit of a chat about what happened today. We ended up with actually three cars purchased from that video. We'll have a quick chat about those and mention them. First of all, we started off with that early on with that Qashqai in that sort of maroony red colour. 1.6 petrol, a little bit mileage, he's done 115 foul. However, it was on the right side of the money. I wouldn't say it was a bargain, it was okay, and I do struggle to buy them normally, so I was quite pleased to get that, and they are very good sellers, even with mileage on the upper end, shall we say, at over 100 foul. They're generally quite reliable engine-wise. They do take a bit of work to get them sort of through prep, usually silly things like door hinges and wishbone arms and shockers and stuff like that. But like I said, they are good news, and they say they always sell and always make half-decent money. What's that worth? Probably about 3295 retail, but we're suggesting a little bit more than that, 3495 I think that's probably on the upper end, to be fair. Uh, I think three at 295 is probably more accurate with it. Even after the fees and a little bit of delivery, a little bit of prep as well, we're going to need to do on that. Definitely sort those bumpers out. That's definitely need sorting. I still think there's a nice chunk of money in that. Good margin for me. I'll certainly be able to achieve what I would usually get out of a car for that sort of price point. Now, the other two cars, another Nissan and a Clio. We'll start with the other Nissan first, the Duke. A little 1.6 petrol again in white. Again, unfortunately, needing paint. Bottom of the door. Uh, I have actually now got that car back and actually had that sent off to paint. That is now being sorted out as we speak. I have driven it already. to drive well, and it was a decent spec as well, being a Techno model. So it had all the lever in it and stuff like that. So, again, good sellers, the Dukes. Same as the cash guys. They usually do need a little bit of prep in them. But they are, say, they are good news. They're not my cup of tea, but they are popular cars, and that's... That's what at the end of the day I need to be stocking cars that sell. Mileage was a little bit better on that one, about 90,000 miles. But I have to buy these cash guys in Nissan Duke sort of with the upper mileage on sort of around the 90, 100,000 mile mark to be able to get them at the right sort of money in order to retail them at sort of like three, four grand mark. Retail on that one, there's about 3,800 quid, 3,795. Probably see that somewhere around the three and a half grand mark, maybe just a shade over. We'll see, obviously, when we get it in the workshop. And finally, the third car was the little Renault Clio, the later shaped Clio, 13 play again needs a couple of bumpers sorting out on the top of that spurt spoiler on the back boot lid and a bloody good clean low one two petrol good engine using the dacia as well they actually are just a really nice car to drive i've driven a few of them and they're quite modern and specky as well and certainly, in my view, a better choice than, say, the equivalent sort of 13 plate Corsa of that sort of era. Retail on that's actually quite good, 3995. And I think if we actually get the paint right on that, we could achieve that very easily. Because, like I said, it looks a very modern car. And if you compare it to sort of the Fiesta or the Corsa of that sort of era, it's a far better looking car in shape and a lot more modern vehicle. And good news, we've actually had that car delivered now. It's on site, in queue for paint, have been out and driven it, does drive really well. And we've already had a little bit of interest on it as well in the corner. So people are already inquiring about it. So I think that's definitely been a good decision. But hopefully when we get that back from paint in the next few weeks, we can get that hopefully on sale and a new owner on the logbook. Now, we did have a go at a few other bits today, but we really did struggle. It was a tough, tough day at the sale room and it was really, really busy. 
A couple of standout cars, those two Japanese vehicles. We've got the uh, Nissan Micra, the old Micra. That did decent money, I thought. That quite surprised me. And also, as well, that Celica. Now, that Celica was a, basically a base model, a 1.8 VVTi. It wasn't uh, a T-Sport, which would make it really interesting because they are very, very good news. But nonetheless, it was a clean car and definitely a future classic, although it made a bit more than I thought it was going to make. So overall, it's been a successful trip. Have to have a mention to G3 Motor Auction. They've been absolutely brilliant with me. And also, as well... Actually, we're on the first of sale, bumped into a lot of people uh, at that sale, and everyone was absolutely brilliant. I had a lot of people coming over to me, introducing themselves. Really nice, kind people. I, I was I was overwhelmed, really. I go to a few auctions, and a lot of the time I get sort of a little bit of a look and a stare, obviously, because I do this social media stuff, and a lot of traders are a bit old school and don't like it. But I have to say, there was none of that there at G3. Everyone was really welcoming. And I said, lots of people came over, introduced themselves, and it was really nice to chat to one or two people as well. Now, lastly, traders out there, if you are looking to get involved uh, and get yourself joined up with G3, you can check out the link in the description. There is a sign-up page there that takes you straight through to G3 site, and you can get your free account set up, get yourself your tier band, and start buying from G3. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out the offer from Top Don on the JS Series Jump Packs. Link's in the description. Use the promo code HOTDEAL20. You've got to the 27th of May to get hold of your Jump Pack, so get yourself one ordered. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.